Hello everyone, Shane here from Into Profits. So today I want to talk about getting solutions to issues you have on Amazon FBA. So getting resolutions to your cases, um, because to me they can be seriously fucking frustrating. Um, and I speak um, as someone that is positive about Amazon, positive about the experience. Um, but I think there's certain issues that the supporters cannot help with or, or find it difficult. So I will explain that in this video and show you how to get the solutions for your cases today. So earlier this year, we had a, a new product launches and we were having issues around the, uh, the colors and the variations weren't displaying, things like this, um, whereby the, basically the conversion rate was completely fucked because the colors weren't displaying properly. Um, we had a we had a case open for maybe six weeks back then, trying to get it solved. Um, we then launched another, so we then got a fix with support, and then launched another uh, product um, or another variations of the same product or of a similar product. And what happened was we had the same fucking issue again. We had a problem where colors weren't displaying, where the variations were not working, and we had to open a case again. Now, having opened the case for fucking six weeks earlier this year, me and the team, um, very frustrating to do. And through, very frustrating for a couple of reasons. Um, the first being is I think that the, the, the lower level staff are just handcuffed a bit. They can't actually solve some of the problems. And I don't think it's their fault necessarily. I think it's just down to the size of Amazon's business. You know, they're, they must have 100,000 uh, customer support reps. Um, and the only way for them to train lower level staff is with SOPs. You know, the only way to, to uh, manage them effectively is with SOPs. So I think what's, what's um, I think it's just based on the scale of Amazon. So that's the one thing. The second thing, which is the most frustrating thing for me is, and I don't know if you can resonate with this, but is when you get those cases that run on. Um, um, so let me explain that. So we had the, the same issue again there. It's just about we solved now, or it's just solved now. We had it for the past two months. Same issue again. Um, we're on to support about the variation issue. And quite frankly, um, we would get on a Monday, let's say, for example, we'd get uh, someone with a solution and then we'd try it and then it would be the Tuesday, maybe the solution wouldn't work. On the Tuesday, we'd get someone that has a different solution. We try and follow that, that wouldn't work. On the Wednesday, we'd get someone that doesn't even, is basically telling us that we need to follow the solution on the Monday. And then on the Wednesday, and then on the Thursday, we get a great rep and they've got, they've summarize the case and they're given a great uh, practical solution we think is going to work then on Friday it doesn't work and then we'd have to go back to someone like Groundhog Day where they basically recommend to do something from the Monday or the Tuesday or the Wednesday so again I don't think it's the, the support fault I just think it's down to by design I think they, they can't keep one person on the case so therefore you get multiple reps and reps cannot read the whole case study or case file particularly in hours where our, our latest one is like 15 pages long, uh, 15 pages of replies. I think that's probably about 100 replies. There's just no way that the, each rep is reading the whole case file going through it. So we came up with a solution for this, and I think this is this is what ultimately helped us, or this is what ultimately helped us, and this is what will ultimately help you get your cases solved and not have them run on for months. So what we started doing, me and the team, by design, just because of necessity, because we would get, as we said on a Friday, someone would recommend the same strategy we, solution we had on the Monday or Tuesday because they couldn't read the whole case file. So what we started doing is summarizing the case file based on by issue and by date. So for example, on September, if the, on the 2nd of September, they recommended solution A, we'd note that into the case log uh, or into our Google document, like a live Google doc. And then on the third, if there was a different solution, we note that in here, we note that in there. Very condensed and concise. So that anytime we replied to the case or opened the new case, we would just drop that PDF form of the Google Doc. And once we'd done that, it meant that the rep actually understood everything that had went on before. So we understood that we tried solution A, solution B, solution C, solution D. So we stopped getting reps that kept turning around and recommending the solution from the fucking day one. We stopped getting Groundhog Day moments which for, to me were the most frustrating thing possible because I felt like I was never going to get it solved. I felt like I was stuck in the machine. Uh, there was no solution to that. So once that, once we had the live doc that we reattached with every reply, um, 
the support it meant that each person was able to get the full uh case reasons behind that and then we actually were we didn't get it solved right away it took, it took around 10 days or so um bearing in mind it's now eight weeks it's just about to be solved but what it meant was that and when they, either a new rep come in or they escalated it up to the brand team or the amazon sa team what happened was they understood the whole case so they knew all the solution we tried that didn't work they knew the ones that kind of worked so they were able to offer us new solutions that had not been tried and that's what ultimately uh saved this product and forty thousand dollars worth of stock and it's going to allow us to have a fucking awesome q4 so i hope that helps you and bye for now